So let's examine the following example that deals with two boxes and a chord. So let's begin. Suppose box number one and box number two are connected by a massless rope. Now suppose that box number one has a mass of 10 kilograms, while box number two has a mass of 15 kilograms. And also suppose that box number one is connected to another rope, which is pulled by a person with a force of 60 newtons. Now we're going to make the assumption that the surface along which our two boxes are being pulled is frictionless. So we can ignore our forces or friction. So let's look at the following diagram. So box number, uh, box number one, which weighs 10 kilograms, and box number two, which weighs 15 kilograms. This is our rope connecting the two boxes, and this is the second rope, which a person pulls on with a force of 60 newtons. So let's represent this force as F subscript P, P for the pulling force. Let's represent this mass as M subscript 1, and this mass as M subscript 2. Now we're, we want to find what the acceleration is of the following object. So how quickly do these guys accelerate our system consisting of box 1 and box 2 when a force of 60 newtons is applied to our box? So we know according to the second law of motion that if we apply a net force to an object, to a system, that system will begin accelerating accelerating and that's exactly what we want to find we want to find what our acceleration of the system is so to begin let's say that this is our x-axis and going this way is positive and going this way is negative so if any force is pointing in this direction that force has a positive direction and if any force is pointing in this direction that force has a direction of negative so let's begin by first finding all the forces acting on this object and then finding all the forces acting on this object. So let's begin with box number one. So the net forces acting on box number one is equal to, so one force is going this way, it's the pulling force. So since it's going this way, it's positive. So F subscript P is positive minus the tension in the rope, so this rope, which is going in the opposite direction, so minus the tension in the rope. Now this guy, we don't know what this guy is. We know what this guy is, it's simply 60 newtons. And this equals, according to second law of motion, the mass of box 1 multiplied by our acceleration of box 1. Likewise, let's find all the net forces or all the forces acting on box number 2. So the net or the sum of all the forces acting on box number two is equal to once again we have a force going this way the tension in the rope is pulling our box number two this way and in fact that's the only force there's no other force being applied to our object so that means we only have one force and it has a positive sign because it's moving in this direction so equals mass of our object 2 multiplied by the same acceleration because these guys are in fact accelerating at the same magnitude. So now notice we have two equations and two unknowns. We don't know what our force or tension of rope is and we don't know what our acceleration is. But what we can do is because we have two equations and two unknowns, we can solve for one of these guys. So let's solve for what we're looking for. Let's solve for our acceleration. So let's take this FT and plug it into this FT. That will help us get one equation with one unknown. So once again, we rewrite this equation. F subscript P minus F subscript T equals F subscript P minus we take this guy and we replace it with this guy. So we plug it into this guy and we get F subscript P, the pulling force, minus M subscript 2, which is the uh, magnitude or the mass of box number 2, multiplied by the acceleration of box number 2 equals <coughs> mass number 1 multiplied by acceleration. And now, now we basically, we know what this is, we know what mass 2 and 1 is, we don't know what these a's are. So let's get all the a's to one side, so let's bring this guy to the right. We get F subscript P, the pulling force, 60 newtons, is equal to mass 1 times a plus mass 2 times a. We brought this guy to this side, and this becomes positive. And now, since a appears on both this term and this term, we can take the a out, and then we can bring mass 1 
plus mass 2 times A, we can bring the mass 1 plus mass 2 on the other side and we get the force, the pulling force divided by the sum of the two masses equals our acceleration of the object. So, we simply take our force with which our object is being pulled and then we divide that by our masses equals our A. So, 60 newtons divided by the total mass which is 25 kilograms and we get 2.4 meters per second second. So this is the magnitude of our acceleration going in this direction of both objects where we're considering both objects to be a single system. Now our direction is along the positive direction along the x-axis going this way. Now suppose we want to find what the tension the rope is we can now find that. So we know according to our second equation, the tension in our rope is equal to mass 2 times A. Now we know what our A is, 2.4, so we take 2.4 and plug it in here, multiply it by 15 kilograms, and we get our tension in the rope.